Well, thank you for joining me on this Thursday morning. I'm glad that you're back. And again, I want to say thank you for those who've called us and let us know that you're listening to Thoughts from the Throne. And if you haven't, again, let me encourage you. Go to that phone, call us, and let me know that you're enjoying Thoughts from the Throne. And if you have a testimony, please give me that testimony. Let me know what God is doing in your life. Now, this week, we're talking about Christians confessing their confidence in Jesus. Every day we should make a confession of our confidence in Jesus, what he's done, what he's doing, and what he's promised to do in our life. Now today I want to bring your attention to a scripture found in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verses 1 uh, or chapter 1 uh, verses 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now in this passage of scripture, Paul is writing to his spiritual son Timothy, and he's giving him some very important advice. I want you to look at this in, in 2 Timothy chapter 1. Look what God says in verse 7 and 8. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God who has saved us and called us for a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. What is Paul saying to his spiritual son, Timothy? He said, Timothy, he said, remember this, God's not given us the spirit of fear. And wherever you go, whoever you're around, never, never, never be ashamed to testify of Jesus. Never be ashamed to testify wherever you go. Always have a testimony ready. And so our confession today is this. I confess I will never be ashamed of the testimony of Jesus Christ and what he's done for me. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.